What's going on everybody? It's your boy Harrison from Royal Canvas Exotics. This video is actually going to be more from the Pomona Reptile Show that I recently came back from. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys thought I was done, but I still got a ton of footage of some cool animals and cool interviews I got to show you guys. So, we're going to kick it off with the man Oz from Ozzy Boys himself. It's actually going to be a, a short conversation between me and Oz. And by, by short, I mean like literally, you know, short, I'm like super short on him. So like you probably see half my face the whole time. Um, you know, but it was cool talking to him. It's always awesome talking to him because it's like in the mind of a genius. Um, you know, some people in the industry might consider him the wizard of ball pythons. Let that sink in, you know, Oz, Ozzy Boyd's, Wizard, Ball Pythons. Alright, maybe it's just me, but that's because he creates some mind-blowing animals. Like, uh, animals that I'm telling you, if you saw them on picture or like Instagram, you wouldn't believe it's real until you see them in person. And it's like, wow, they are real. So, that's why, you know, I consider him, you know, such a, you know, wizard. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy. Grab yourself a beer, you know, some soda. And for you healthy people, you know, grab yourself like a like water, you know. <laughs> some popcorn, some chips, some cookies, some fries, you know, or some celery sticks, carrots, broccoli, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat, you know. Um, but most importantly, please enjoy the video because it's going to be an awesome one. All right? All right, so I'm here at the Pomona show with the man himself. Everybody knows him. What's going on, Oz? What's up, guys? So, uh, you, have you uh, vended at the Pomona show before? Nah, this is my first time coming to the Pomona show, so this right. show's been getting a lot of buzz. Right, right. So I've been hearing a lot of good things about it, so I just wanted to come, you know, hang out, see everybody. A lot of customers uh, buy stuff from me in California, so it's good to get out, you know, hang out, have a good time, network, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe pick up a thing or two. So. Right. So did you did you find anything that uh, interested you particularly? Pick up a couple of things. Um, there's some cool stuff. Definitely some cool stuff here, and some good deals here. So right. definitely work work coming out and. Uh, Checking out some of the tables and supporting some of the breeders. So. Yeah, of course. That's awesome, man. That's all love. So, uh, what advice would you have for someone new like me coming up in, in the old breeding thing? Well, um, you know, you gotta you gotta follow your gut and work with stuff that you're really passionate about, stuff that you really really like. Sure. Um, if you're getting into ball pythons, you know, my recommendation would be to start building your collection by acquiring females and then, um, you know, waiting until those females are up to size and then picking up a few really, really powerful males. Sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. Once your collection is established, you know, and uh, you're making money, then you can go out and buy powerful females. Right. But in the beginning, you know, you can get some uh, really cool lower end females, wait a year or two and then pick up some really, really high end powerful males for those girls. Which brings us 
next to this one right here. So tell me about like this and the project and stuff. So we uh, took some uh, VPIs and some Desert Ghosts a bit back and okay. bred them together. We've got some uh, double heads. Awesome. Should have some uh, VPI Xanthic uh, Desert Ghosts. Eggs are in the incubator right now. With any luck, we'll get some. Uh, we'll get some uh, double visuals. Awesome, man. Awesome. Can I see this one? Yeah, of course. That one's NFS, guys. Just <laughs> and, and what's super cool about her, I'm calling her a, a pastel, okay. but she doesn't have a pastel head by right. any signs. But she's got this really cool yellowing it, on yeah. every single saddle. Yeah, that's so there's something else at play. Maybe yellow belly, maybe who knows. Maybe something just crazy going on here. I can call it whatever I want, I guess. <laughs> I don't know that it's pastel, but it's easiest to call pastel because that's all that's in the lineage that I know of. Right. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. And what's also cool is this female spider here. This female spider is, is her sister. And instead of having like a normal ultra white sides that you'd see typically in a spider, she's got that same kind of yellowing all along. Whereas like a typically a typical spider would be bright white, especially an example. She's 66 het pied. I, got a, I produced a uh, male coral glow cinnamon enchi okay. from a male coral glow cinnamon enchi uh, pied female. Yeah. Um, so, the, so we got pretty much everything you could want. 100% het pied because right. the mom is uh, is pie bulb, and then coral glow cinnamon enchi, and those colors just pop yeah. with the flames. Where can people find your stuff? Like, are you on Instagram? So, Instagram, Brian Bodie 56 Okay. Uh, my animals that are for sale are up on Morph Market, okay. with the exception of this uh, black pastel uh, hide female. Awesome. Uh, and uh, uh, occasionally I dabble on uh, Facebook. <laughs> All right. So nice. We got your information, guys. Make sure you go check him out. He's also, like I said before, his swag looks amazing because. That's a big B right there. <laughs> awesome. Thank you again, man. Thanks, guys. All right. All right, guys. So I'm here with Jeff. Look at that banner. That's a sick banner, right? So he was nice enough to bring me back here and show me some cool animals that he has, which uh, mainly consists of, well, you, you work with a lot of things, or just like, like retakes yeah, so, and leeches? So and I started with, with the retakes not that long, well, eight years ago now, and then wow. probably in the past, Two and a half, three years. I've, I've kind of gotten into other things like leeches, chihuahuas, nice. and stuff like that. Oh shit! He's ripping the big dog shirt. <laughs>
the size of the head, like the size of my head. I actually that... posted a picture of it uh, with it's my hand right next to its head. Where? I'll find the picture. I think I have it on Instagram. So. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's segue into that. Actually, where can where can people uh, find your information, find your stuff? If they're so interested Facebook, in Instagram, and my website as well. So I'll send them right there. All right. Sounds good. Do you guys have a YouTube? Or... I do. We actually just started that back up. Awesome, dude. Awesome. That's Kelsey and Mike. you guys enjoyed that short video um i hope it was short actually um either way you know thank you guys and i hope you enjoyed um the next video is actually gonna be more from the pomona reptile super show uh, i still have some amazing animals uh and interviews to show you guys so please tune in for that you know and thank you guys so much for your support for you know for just tuning in um, I really do appreciate it. So, um, yeah, have an amazing day. You know, take care. I'll see you guys on the